What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is day 8 out of 31 of my Ashtoberfest series and today's video is a vintage film noir look. I would wear this look any day but I know a lot of people requested a Halloween tutorial on it so I wanted to throw it in my series. My favorite parts of this look are the wig and the lipstick so I can't wait to show you guys the video. Let's get into it. Before I get started with foundation, I'm just going to put my wig cap on. This will keep all of my hair out of my face and you guys can see a little bit of that auburn color in my hair from yesterday's video. For foundation, I'm using my Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 150 mixed with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD liquid foundation in the shade Y205. I like to mix in the Makeup Forever with the Fenty foundation just because it makes it a little less drying on my skin. Also, my Makeup Forever foundation is way lighter, and that's what I was going for with this look. I feel like the film noir looks, they're usually in black and white. I wanted to do mine in color. I feel like the women in the films are always very, very pale. So I'm taking my Kat Von D Whiteout Concealer on the high points of my face, and I'm just going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender for an even paler finish. And of course, I'm just setting with a translucent powder. For brows, I'm taking my Benefit Cabrow in the shade number 6. And I'm filling these in pretty much like normal. The only different thing that I'm doing is I'm making the tail of my brow go straight out. On my brow bone, I'm taking Sugar Pills Taco eyeshadow and I'm just patting that from my brow bone and taking that down onto the lid. And then I'm going in with Castle on the Hill as a transition shade. And for this, I'm just taking my IT Cosmetics number 105 brush to blend out my crease. On top of that, I'm packing some black eyeshadow. This one's Bulletproof by Sugar Pill. I feel like this eye look on the lid is pretty similar to my Morticia Adams look. For the rest of my lid, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Liquid Moon Dust eyeshadow in the shade Chemtrail. And this is a liquid shadow, so I'm just taking that little brush and I'm kind of going to cut out a little crease, but not too dramatic with it. On the lower lash line, I'm taking that same black eyeshadow and I'm just going to smudge that out. For this look, I wanted to do kind of a double inner corner wing situation. I don't know if that look even has a specific name, so I call it a double wing. Um, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, but I'm just taking some eyeliner on top here. And I'm going to do a wing here and then I'm going to finish the lower lash line by creating a new inner corner. Mastering this inner corner did take me some time in my makeup career, but basically I'm drawing a line straight towards my nose and then straight back in like a flat line to connect with my waterline. Right underneath that, I'm drawing a parallel line. This will just make it look like my eyes are a little bit bigger than they are. And I really like the effect that it gives. And that's pretty much it for the eyes. I'm just going to apply some mascara. While I wait for my lashes to dry, I'm going to contour. I'm using my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette and I'm using the lightest dark shade. I'm not going too crazy with the contour, just giving a little something to show some definition in my face. However, I will be going in quite hard on my nose. I'm using that same contour shade and I'm also using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette Brush. I'm pretty sure this came in the Prism Palette as well. It's been my favorite thing for contouring my nose. Now that my lashes are dry, I can apply them. These are the House of Lashes Iconic Light Lashes and they're my absolute favorites. For blush, I'm going to be using one of the Anastasia Beverly Hills trios and this one is called Pool Party. And I'm just mixing those two shades, the pink and the purple, to get a little bit of a rosy effect on my cheeks and I also put this on the tip of my nose. For highlight, I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Shimmering Powder in Luminous. And I'm just putting that on the high points of my face. This highlighter is a little sparkly, so I just wanted to add a little sparkle to my look. For lips, I'm using a black liquid lipstick. This one is Max Retro Matte in Caviar. And I'm kind of just going to outline my lips with this. Doesn't need to be too perfect because I'm going to add some lipstick on top. But I basically just want to outline my lips with this. 
Once I have that outlined, I'm adding a red liquid lipstick. This one is Anastasia Beverly Hills Seraphine liquid lipstick. I'm pretty sure I've used this every day this Ashtoberfest, <laughs> but I'm just putting that on the center and then I'm gonna take my finger and pat that out so it blends in nicely with the black liquid lipstick that I've already added. If you do this, you wanna be careful to not pat the center of your lip too much because that red shade will quickly fade into like a really dark red or like a black shade. So you wanna be careful and just press around the edges where the black liquid lipstick is. And I've always wanted to have a cute little beauty mark right here, so I decided last minute to add one. First I drew a tiny dot with my eyeliner and then I went back in with a black shadow and a tiny little brush. That's pretty much it for the makeup. I'm gonna put on my wig and I'll be right back. So this is the finished vintage film girl or vintage film noir makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will link every product I use down below as well as this wig in case you guys are interested in checking any of it out. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you didn't already. I have a ton more videos coming out this month. You can also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. That's also always linked down below and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.